I did a pull away test video. Now in that video, because I, I talked earlier about like uh, guys saying you should mirror, but in terms of um, in terms of texting, in terms of the amount of texting you're doing, that is an example of one where if you find that women are pulling away because you're texting them too much, then yeah, you wait for she texts you, you text back. If she waits 20 minutes, I wait a minimum of 20 minutes. And then we're trying to get her to see like, you know, I want more, more time. To, I, I want more communication texting, but you don't want to overburden women. Ultimately, guys, texting is like this. It's a tennis match. You send a text, wait for her to respond. Ideally, she's going to respond in a, in a timely manner. But if it takes her three or four hours, it could be because she's at work. She's whatever. The point is, she's not putting her life on hold to text you back right away. And you should not either. All right. Now, with that said, this guy said, I disagree with mirroring all the time. If I can text back straight away, I will. If I've got something going on elsewhere in life at the moment, I will text her back when I can. I won't deliberately go, I'm going to make her wait three hours. That's just ignorant, and I would not feel good taking that into a full-blown relationship. I would like to think she has the same attitude towards me instead of a game-playing mindset. So I appreciate the comment. Here's reality. A lot of the tips that I give guys on this channel are guys that have been failing with women. And part of the reason that they fail with women is because they have ideas in their head about what they should or should not be doing. And more importantly, they have ideas about what women are going to be mad at if they don't do these actions. Now, one of those things is if I don't respond back to a woman's text right away, she's going to be mad at me. She's going to be thinking I'm playing games. She's going to be upset with me. And then so, so therefore, I need to text back every single time when she texts me so that way she knows that I'm going to always be there and I'm not playing games. Now, I as a guy used to do that. And you know what happened? I found that doing that as a guy resulted in women starting to answer back less, text less, and eventually ghost me, right? But I couldn't, I didn't know how to make that stop because on one hand, it's like, okay, if they text me and I'm free, of course, I'm going to respond back to them. I'm not playing games, right? But on the other hand, I'm finding that when I do that, women are pulling away. And again, as I say all the time, if it was just one woman, I could say that woman's tripping. But I found that woman after woman after woman, if I was able to always respond back right away, they would eventually ghost. So this brings into my mind a uh, conundrum, which is what do I do to fix this? I don't know. And so I just learned from other people I was learning from at the time, hey, you know what? You're a man that is busy, you have other things going on, and women need to get the impression and idea that that's happening. And one of the ways they get that impression is to not hear back from you right away all the time. And so when I say things like, you know what, guy, next time, if you text a woman and she waits three hours to get back to you, you need to wait three hours. I'm not necessarily saying that as a way for this guy to play games with her. I'm saying that to the guy because he needs to experience a woman not getting mad at him for not responding back right away. And the only way that a guy that up to this point has not done that gets that kind of practice is to intentionally do that. Now, guys think if uh, if you're, they're intentionally doing an action that they're now playing games and they're not being honest, and so therefore it's not going to be whatever. And I get a guy, you're going to feel weird about doing that initially because it's not what you're used to. But here's the thing. I just care about one results and funny enough, I care about what women want. And what I learned based on my intel is that women want their men to be busy and women subconsciously need you to not be available all the time. Because think about this, right? I, and I've heard these conversations from women, right? Where they'll be around other women and they'll be talking about a guy. It's like, yeah, he texts me all, all the time. Every time I text him, he's able to answer back right away. And it's just like, he just, he's just always available, which, which to women, they have in their head, here's the guy I'm dating that's always by his phone ready for me to hit him up because he needs my attention so desperately. That is a turn off to women versus the other conversation I've heard from women where it's like, hey, so-and-so, so have you heard from your, your boyfriend today? Oh, you know what? He's busy off doing some this, this and that or whatever. He's busy working on this big project. So I probably won't hear from him until later tonight. What is she not saying in that? She's saying, my guy is super busy. He's out there making successes and chasing goals and dreams. And that makes him a real go-getter. And I admire that. So when he hits me up later, because I know he will, I'm going to just be so enamored to, to hear from him and hear all about his day. And that is a turn on to women. So some of the things that I tell you guys, you're going to be thinking, it's just playing games. No, it's me having the understanding that when I do certain things, women respond in a positive way. Whereas before, when I was doing other things, 
it, 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 it didn't work out. And most of the stuff that I teach you guys is be patient with women, like with the phone thing, right? I'm not saying lie to women. I'm saying, hey, be patient. Wait three hours so she gets to feel the, the absence of, uh, of the, she gets to feel your absence. She gets to anticipate wanting to hear from you. And these things conjure up good things, but also it gives you the understanding that when there are actual times where you can't be available, she's not going to be butt hurt by it. And that's intel you need because you need to know if you're dating a woman that's going to be fine with you at times that you're not able to reach back right away, or if she's going to be the kind that's going to be like, you didn't text me after five minutes. Oh my God, what's going on? You must be this man. And I dated that woman. I dated those women that they need to be texted back right away all the time to where if I like sent a text and then went to the bathroom for like five or 10 minutes to shower or whatever, and then came back, I had my phone. Hey, why aren't you answering back? Hello, what's going on? Are you cheating on me? Those kind of women are annoying as crap to date. But if you occasionally, she texts you and you don't get back for like an hour or two and you get back to her and she hasn't freaked out on you, guess what? You probably got a love ahead of woman. Congratulations, you found that out. So this is why I, this goes back to, I think it is perfectly fine for both men and women to have things that they do that test the other person. I, it'd be great if you didn't have to, but realistically, you're dating somebody that is not yet a known entity. You do not know all of what is going on in the head, if they're level-headed, if they're going to be somebody that's going to actually be able to like not see you for a time and not be bogged down by it, or if they don't see you for an hour, are getting jealous or thinking you're cheating, all these other things. So this is why I tell you guys, it's perfectly fine to do these things. You're thinking... He said, you know, doing that kind of thing is just ignorant and I wouldn't feel good taking that relationship. Well, what you're doing during the dating phase is doing things that vet to see if she's an evil level headed woman or an, an even even and level headed woman to whereby in the relationship phase, these tests won't be as necessary because you you'll have a good gauge of who she is by month three or four. And even then you're going to learn more stuff about her as you actually get into a relationship. But suffice to say, in the beginning, as hopeful as you are that this person's going to have a good head on their shoulders and be the right person. You do not actually know them. Guys make assessments way too quick and then they get butt hurt later on when they realize the girl actually wasn't the right woman. But if you had tested some things early on, if you would, you know, try to test to see if she has patience, how understanding she is of certain things, if she's cool with you hanging out with the boys sometimes versus not, then you'd have better intel. But that's what you cannot assume she's going to be like that just assuming that all women are great and a woman doesn't need to be tested because the woman that I'm dating is already the right pick. No, she's not. You do not know that. So don't think that it's bad if you have to occasionally not get back to her right away. It's actually a great way, A, to see if you have a woman that's patient, but also for her to be able to see that you're not as needy and as desperate as she's probably assessed other guys are based on that. So hopefully that causes some. Uh, uh, hopefully that causes you to think about it differently. If it doesn't, and you still feel the same way, you are openly welcome to feel however you want about this. I'm just trying to give you a different perspective to think about it from. You the bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high class man. You a high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high.